Let me make it quick. This is the a review of my deceptive flower that I have. It's a rose that I found in the front of my garden. Um, so we can start with the sepals. Sepals are the green. Um, they're mostly green, but they can be brightly colored. So I wouldn't be surprised if part of the sepal is um, produced along the petals, which are these red um, leaves. Or, or not really, just just petals. Just call them petals. Um, so the sepals, they're modified leaves that protect the developing flower. So while it was in, before blooming, this green, it covered the um, I, the flower, I could say. Um, the petals, the sepals make up the petals, which are modified leaves also as well. Then we can go into the male reproductive structure of the flower, which is the stamen. And the stamen consists of the anther, which is the yellow parts. And um, these anthers, they create pollen or pollen grains. And then you have, if you can get closer, um, there's filaments which connect the anther to the style. The style is actually part of the female reprodu reproduction, reproductive system. And it contains of the stigma, which is these red spongy looking things over here. It contains the style, which, con which connects the um, the anther, the filaments, the stigma to the base of the flower where it connects to the ovary and which also the ovary right here it's like you see this little pointy thing and there's like a, a ball that's inside yeah um though that is also part of the femur productive system all of these things the um the stigma the style stigma the style and the ovary they make the carpal just on how the filament and the anther they make up the stamen which is the male reproductive system so we have the sapo we have the petals we have the stamen which contains the um, anthers and the filaments we have the carpal which contains the stigma and the style and the ovary so um all of these they are the structures so um yeah good have a good day guys